Hi and welcome to another Ram City memory upgrade installation video. Today we're installing an upgrade in this little compact Evo desktop workstation. And like usual, you'll need a flat surface to work on. You may need a screwdriver, depending on what sort of case you've got. For this one we won't need a screwdriver today. And make sure the machine is shut down, not just hibernated. And also make sure that you've discharged any static electricity from your body. Usually the easiest way to do that is to plug the machine into the mains, touch the metal case, and that'll discharge any static from your body. You could also touch a metal doorknob, something like that, that's connected to the ground. So make sure any power is disconnected. And then we're going to get to removing the case with this one. It's just a thumb screw that we need to take out. Undo the screw. And then we slide off the side panel. Sometimes it can take a bit of work. Put the panel to one side. Now we can see inside the machine. There's our CPU. There's our memory upgrade slots there. I'm just going to tilt this up a little bit so you can see it a bit better. So what we're going to do is remove one of these modules here and then we're going to put it back in again. So to remove them we need to pull these two clips on either side of the module out, so we can pull that one out and then we pull that one out. You can simply remove the module at that point, it'll just pop out like so. You can see there's a little notch there and there's a slot inside there, like a little guide slot. It goes in that, lines up with that notch there. So to put the module back in, so we've got a Kingston upgrade here, we simply Guide the module back in. Sometimes it's easy to do one side first and then the other. You need to push down firmly on each side. So as you push down, the clip will clip back in. Do the same on the other side. Sometimes it takes a lot of pressure. There's our clip. So both of them now seated firmly. And we can put the case back on. Screw your case back on. And that's it. Upgrade complete. Thanks for watching this upgrade video. We'll see you back here again soon.